wasn't always sure that I wanted to become an attorney at law. To be honest, while I was in high school, I contemplated doing law or medicine for a very long time. It was while I was at the Money Community College that I decided to pursue a career in law because at that time I was doing Cape Law and I really, really enjoyed the course. I recall when I applied to the UE that I placed law as my first choice and law as my second choice because I was so sure this was what I wanted to do. The law school really impacted my understanding of what the practice of law would be like. Law is a very time consuming course and you learn new things all the time. There are three things that I think the law school really highlighted for me. One, to pay attention to details. Oftentimes, the difference between your case and another case really lies within the facts. The second thing is time management. Now you know the law school gave us a lot of assignments, right? And we had a very close deadlines and you could not miss your submission dates. And so from, from a very early age, the law school taught us that it was not just about being smart, it was not just about doing the work, but it was also you had to do the work on time. As a litigator, there are consequences if we do not file applications or the client's documents on time. You may have to do an application for an extension of time and there are cost consequences to that. And so I'm very grateful for the law school for really emphasizing that um, time management is important. The third thing is the ability to work with a team. I recall we had a lot of group assignments with different persons and you had to learn how to work with different personalities. And in my current job, I work with I work with a team. I work with lawyers internally. I work with lawyers external to the firm. And so it's very important that you learn how to work within a team. I think it is very important that we as more seasoned lawyers, that we assist younger lawyers to develop themselves in the practice of law. I certainly had people who contributed to my development and there are so many that I don't want to get to start naming them because I may find myself in, in trouble. However, in terms of the law school, I would say Mr. Norman Davis was is one that stands out to me. He was my evidence teacher and my mock trial coach. He was a very hard coach, but he got the job done. And I credit him for the advocacy skills and the things that I've learned um, from him in terms of evidence and advocacy. Lastly, my one of my favorite memories from the law school, I would definitely say it would be participating in the, in the Philip C. Jessup International um, Competition. I participated in the Jessup twice and I met law students, now attorneys from law schools worldwide. I still have lifelong friendships with my teammates from law school. So it was a very good experience for me. I could not end this video without uh, mentioning my tutorial group, which I still, we still have a WhatsApp group to this day from law school. We still celebrate birthdays and important milestones. So I want to give, um, I, I want to give a shout out or to mention the A team. It's not an easy task, but the Norman Money Law School has really um, made, this, made a name for itself. It is well known internationally and I can say that having worked in four or five jurisdictions internationally, I am often asked, where, where did you study? And once I say Jamaica, they will say the Norman Money Law School.